Today on the channel from the Star Wars Black Series, we've got a Clone Trooper Stormtrooper box set. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing and review. And today, we're taking a look at the Stormtrooper Clone Trooper box set from the Star Wars Black Series. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And we're always doing classic Star Wars unboxings. And when I say classic, I guess 2000, 2001, 2, 95, 96. The late 90s, early 2000s has kind of been our wheelhouse in our daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021. Possibly beyond, most likely not beyond, but we'll still sprinkle in some Star Wars, maybe a weekly Star Wars video, something like that in 2022, so be ready for all that fun. But today we've got a throwback from the Black Series variety, 2015 to be exact, and I believe this was originally an Amazon exclusive, and I actually bought this earlier this year on Amazon Prime Day. Was that in July, something like that? They had this thing dirt cheap. I never got it in the past. I said, you know what, 30 bucks for this pack of four different Stormtrooper clone troopers, Sign me up all day long. I'm here for it. I'll, I'll, I'll dabble. I'll dabble in it, and that's exactly what I did. And we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. So here we go. Black Series action. Very old school Black Series. Obviously, now nowadays, Black Series have the sweet murals on the side, stuff like that. This is more of the old-timey, old-timey Black Series. Back 2015. Oh, what a time to be alive, 2015. Not really, depends where you sit, I guess. Uh, but then you got the graphics that we're used to with old school black series. You guys remember the old black and red graphic packaging, the red lettering, stuff like that. You got the glamour shots, the smoky glamour shots in the background of the different clone troopers. Star Wars right up real big there. Star Wars on the side, a very cool box that we'll get into it after we go all the way around. On the top, you got all the Star Troopers, clone troopers right there. On the side, there's that old school familiar black series. Uh, packaging, side packaging, where we we're accustomed to. And then on the back, you've got a blurb for each one. We'll read all four of those real quick. Uh, see if I can read that. you got warnings, all that kind of stuff. UPCs on the bottom. But I will say the cool thing on this is the Velcro. It's got Velcro on the sides to unbox. And then, bam, just like that. Like an accordion, just folds out. Bam, there it is. And then you got four Black Series uh, figures, just like so. So really cool, neat packaging, neat all around. I don't hate it. It's pretty cool for me. Uh, let's read the back, though. Let's see what it says about each one of these clone troopers, and then we'll crack it open, see what's going on inside here. Clone Trooper Commander, Phase 1. Created in secret by Kam Kaminoan cloners. All oh, those cloners. They creep me out. You guys know that. The first clone troopers were deployed to protect the Jedi during the Battle of Geonosis. Oh, reenacted in my toy room is what I do every night. Phase 2 clone troopers. As the Clone Wars drew to an end, Chancellor Palpatine issued Order 66, turning the clone troopers against their Jedi allies. allies. A very dark day if you're a Jedi. A dark, dark day. Uh, then we move on to the Imperial Stormtrooper. Under the tyrannical rule of the Empire, Stormtrooper legions ruthlessly crushed resistance across the galaxy. And then finally, the First Order Stormtroopers, equipped with sleek armor and powerful weapons, the Stormtroopers enforce the will of the First Order. So there's the blurbs. There's what's going on. Now let's unbox these bad boys. Let's pull them out. Get the old razor blade, the old trusty fig cutter out. Knock that out from uh, my old good friend Sambro. Look at that. Put fig cutter on it and everything. Good of him to send that up my way. Thank you. And now we're pulling them out here. So we're going to pull out... Actually, we should probably do it in order, don't you think? Yeah, it probably makes more sense. We'll pull this set out first. There it is. Put this to the side for now. We've got a double plastic prison. Two two-packs. So there you go. you got the Phase 1 and Phase 2 Troopers. Really like the yellow on the one, but always cool. Get the typical blasters we always get with our clone troopers out there. Very uniform. I like this, though. I have tons of troopers, tons of clone troopers. Uh, I've been so lazy, but I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it here in the next couple of days. Start displaying my Star Wars Black Series figures again. i got to put them all up. It's going to be pretty fun with all these clone troopers I've added over the last six, eight months or so. Uh, the setup's going to look really nice, so I can't wait to get that going. More to come. Pull that out there. Pull that here. Pull that there there you go oh my gosh they're in there tough they're fighting me got one 
Can I get this last one? Don't you just love all the noise? Oh, there it is. See you later. Get out of here. Bam, there it goes. All right, let's start with this clone trooper first. Now, this is more of what I think of. When I think of clone troopers, I mean, you can think of a lot of different ways out there. You guys know you've been around the trooper game, the trooper business. But I always think of the yellow or the blue as ones that first popped to my mind. Uh, I love this yellow. I love the yellow and the white just really does pop here. And I remember that scene where they first joined the battle. Uh, such a triumphant scene. Old Yoda was there. Oh, if you haven't seen that in a long time, go see it. Because it was a cool scene in the movie. Uh, but it's your typical old school trooper body. Uh, you're articulated, the double jointed knees, of course, double jointed elbows going on. Uh, good coloring. I don't have any coloring problems on this guy. Typical Star Wars articulation. He does have the shoulder kind of gauntlets guards there. They are attached to the arm. They do limit articulation on these older ones out there. Not too big of a deal for me as I don't display these Black Series in action poses out there. So I don't need extreme posability out of my Black Series. But some of you guys that do, you're not going to get as much as some of the other ones, I guess we'll say. Uh, but he does have the clone trooper helmet, kind of has that fin, that yellow fin at the top. I love the clone trooper helmets. He's got the trigger finger, trigger hand going on, and he can get his blaster. So we got the two typical clone trooper, storm trooper blasters here, the big long rifle and the big short blaster. Uh, both are beautiful on this figure because they got a little silver accents to it. It really pops these weapons. It doesn't take a lot of paint to make these pop, so I do appreciate that. I do like all these. Uh, this is a very cool clone trooper. This actually, looking at it, might be my favorite one of the set. So we're starting out hot. We're starting out hot with, I think, my favorite one. Uh, does he fit on a ringside collectibles stand? Let's see if he does. Oh, his foot hole is too big. He does not. So hard times. Hard times? Disappointment? Yeah, I don't know about disappointment, but hard times. He does not stand. He does have a weird trigger finger here. Can I get... I keep saying trigger finger when I mean trigger hand, but I got it adjusted there. It, it was a little stuck, as we see. Uh, but very cool. I like this one. I'm here for it. Sign me up. Uh, I wouldn't mind a couple of these yellow guys out there, but it's just not in the cards. I'm not buying a bunch more of these packs, but one is enough. It's just going to have to be enough. And then you go to phase two. Phase two, a lot like phase one, but we took the yellow away, added a little bit of blue highlights to the mask a little bit. Got a little bit of dirt, almost, it's not dirt, it's black paint uh, on the shoulder here. So a little bit of paint imperfections, but not terrible. Uh, a little bit on the back, and yeah, still throughout. Um, not as nice, not as clean, not as sleek as the last one, but this one's all right. Uh, a lot of reuse, as you can imagine. We get a lot of reuse. I think it's actually the exact same everything. Different head, of course, with the different helmets, but that's pretty much it. Everything else is the same outside of coloring, uh, but with a different helmet. So I get it. Uh, then we get the weapons here, the blasters, and how I talked about the blasters on the previous one, how I really liked it with the extra silver. This has no coloring to it. This is just plain Jane, black weapons, is what it is just not super exciting if you ask me i like a little little bit of a uh, little color to my weapons a little color uh, but very cool i guess it's still a clone trooper it's still great for you army builders out there this truly is an army builders pack is what this is this amazon exclusive set that one not as fun as phase one i think phase two was a letdown to phase one but it is what it is it depicts what it's looking for just fine i guess so now we got to turn our attention to the next set let me pull these guys out of here let's pull out uh, let's see, Imperial Stormtrooper. Ah, yes, okay, the Imperial Stormtrooper. Probably the most familiar trooper for a kid my age. Kid, whatever you want to call me out there. Obviously, I know the Stormtroopers all too well. I grew up with them. Uh, but there you go. You got the First Order Stormtrooper and then your traditional Stormtrooper. We've got some differences and some similarities here, but we're going to crack them out of the old plastic prison. See what's doing here. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four, and then there's a see you later. Get out of here. All right, the traditional Stormtrooper. We know him. We love him. And I guess I like what they did here, and I don't like what they did here. I guess you guys tell me in the comments your thoughts, where you sit on this. It is a Stormtrooper. It is the old body Stormtrooper mold. You can never have enough traditional Stormtroopers, if you ask me. Very iconic. Uh, when I think Army Builders, this is what I think of. I think of the classic Stormtrooper. I don't care what toy line we're talking about. If I hear the word Army Builders, this is the first thing that comes to my head is the traditional Stormtroopers. So I do like that. Now, what they tried to give some differences to this Stormtrooper, instead of just a straight re-release they said let's give him some battle damage so he's got a little burns and shots from the lasers from the gun battles on him now we have seen this stormtrooper released as well as i believe it was a gamestop exclusive deluxe pack out there it was a battle damage stormtrooper it had some nice kind of quality effects with it and stuff 
So we have seen some of this before from a stormtrooper, but it is cool. I mean, there's something cool about a, an army of stormtroopers where they're all nice and clean, but it's cool too if you have some in battle that have some dirt and some wear and tear. Like they've seen some things out there on the battlefield, and that's where I sit with this one. Uh, once again, we do get a lot of reuse uh, from this. We do have different belts going on. You got to, actually, it's not a lot of reuse from these. It's totally different. Totally different. What am I saying? Outside of it being a trooper, that's about it. Uh, different shoulder guards going on, different bicep guards. You got the bicep swivel on this one too. Don't forget that. Uh, but you got a whole different Stormtrooper look. It's totally different. It looks like it's in the same universe, but it is definitely different. Especially the helmet. But the helmet is the most classic Stormtrooper trooper helmet of all out there. Um, we do got a holster on the side, which leads us to our weapons. Uh, we do have two weapons once again, and, and then we're back to some coloring here. We got a little silver on the blaster. Uh, one of the most iconic Star Wars guns, I think, is the Stormtrooper blaster. Everybody knows that blaster. It's very iconic, and like I said, you got a holster for it right here on the side. I do appreciate that. I love being able to store things on my characters instead of baggies and stuff, or they get lost, misplaced. You guys know how that goes. Uh, and then we got the big rifle blaster, totally different from this one. Not as fun as this one. I, this one seems more militaristic. Like it almost belongs in G.I. Joe or something where these really feel like clone trooper weapons. But I still like this one. And I will probably display this one because I don't... Off the top of my head, I don't know if I had any on display previously with the long blaster rifle. So this would be a little bit of a point of difference from some of the other stormtroopers I got out there. Uh, but he's okay. I mean, I prefer, I guess, gun to my head, I do technically prefer a traditional Stormtrooper. Uh, but with some little damage effects and stuff like that, I get how this could uh, be warranted for somebody out there. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? I'm not sure. No, he doesn't. So we're batting a 1,000 at least. At least we're consistent here. None of them want to fit. So that's old school Black Series for you, I guess, not fitting on stands. He does stand fairly well by himself, though, or at least he did for a second. Yeah, he, he stands fairly well compared to the other two. So that turns our attention to the final bit of this uh, Clone Trooper Stormtrooper Madness. And in all honesty, probably my least favorite version of Stormtroopers of all time. Very easily, actually. Uh, the First Order, I just don't like the name First Order. I never really jived with me, the First Order. And then I just don't like... I look. It's like they tried to update this Stormtrooper, but it was something that didn't need fixed. And I get it's a different kind of regime, it's a different kind of world... But I would have kept the original Stormtrooper look into this. I think it would have worked better. These just always felt different. It just felt too different for me. I understood what it was trying to do, but I would have preferred the classic look. Maybe that's just me. You guys can chime in all you want. Same with the weapons. I don't like these weapons. They seem just too... I don't know if hokey is the right word. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but with these weapons, with the white and the black, I, I appreciate the coloring here, but they just don't have the magic of either two varieties here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why that is. I just never have liked these weapons compared to the previous Trooper weapons. I, I don't know. And there could be people younger than me that grew up with this trilogy that maybe prefer it, see it differently. But I think people of my age bracket or around my age bracket, people that grew up with the original trilogy or even the prequels, I think see my side of the fence on that. Outside of that, it is a First Order Trooper. He does have that little shoulder piece in there, which gives him some difference. I guess I don't like the roundness and the bubbliness of these. They're just too bubbly. I think that's where my verdict's going to sit, and that's the best way I can try to explain it here. He does have articulation just like the other ones, of course. All the same articulations going on. Uh, the black and the white. No scuffing or anything like that. I do got a little yellowing of one of his knee pads, which is a little strange. He does have double-jointed knees. Uh, a lot of the same stuff. You definitely know it's in the same family here. It's just not his cool version of the family. He's like that uh, no good uncle that nobody talks about. Uh, nobody wants to be. And then you say, am I that uncle? Am I that uncle? Am I that uncle? I don't know. I'm not that uncle. I'm, I'm the fun uncle. Yeah, I gotta be, right? Right? Eh, you know. But anyways, Stormtrooper, First Order Stormtrooper is what it is for me. I have a few of these already. Uh, I don't know. And once again, he does not fit on a stand. So this is the first video I could ever remember where we've had four figures that didn't fit on a ringside collectible stand. So no cheap plug for ringside collectible this week. Uh, we're not doing it in this video. It's just not going to happen because they don't fit. But all in all is what it is. This is definitely my least favorite. Uh, I'm going to go number four here. I'm going to go number three with the traditional Stormtrooper, which seems a little crazy. Then I'm going to go two with the second phase clone trooper. And then my favorite one is the first one we did, the phase one clone trooper. I just like the yellow. It pops. I just enjoy it. It's the commander edition. 
I'm here for it all day long. But what say you guys? What do you think of these four? How do you rank your troopers? What do you like? Are you a crazy guy that loves TIE fighter pilots the most? Hey, tell me in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on these troopers. Did you pick this pack up way back in the day? I was shocked to see this still bouncing around Amazon some six years later. But here we are and got to get a deal. You guys know how it goes. And that's exactly what I did. I passed way back and came around like a boomerang. It was time to buy it at a cheap prime day price. But let me know your thoughts. Make sure you follow me on social media, Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, pick up a t-shirt, support the channel. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. We've got daily Star Wars videos in 2021 and we'll see what happens beyond. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that kind of fun stuff. So for clone troopers, first order troopers, and stormtroopers, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.